He was a scholastic philosopher and Catholic theologian during the medieval period. He is considered to be one of the major figures of medieval thought. He is known for Occam's razor and significant contributions to logic, physics, and theology. His name is William of Occam. William of Occam, a brilliant mind of the 14th century, emerged from the humble town of Occam in Surrey, England. From an early age, William exhibited an insatiable thirst for knowledge, and his parents fostered his intellectual pursuits. Encouraged to explore various schools of philosophy, William delved into the realms of logic, physics, and theology, leaving an indelible mark on medieval thought. As William matured, he found himself at the center of intellectual and political debates that defined his era. However, it was his groundbreaking principle, known as Occam's razor, that truly propelled him to fame. Occam's razor emphasized simplicity as the key to understanding complex phenomena, advocating for the removal of unnecessary assumptions in explaining a concept. This principle not only revolutionized scientific and philosophical thinking but also illuminated the path for subsequent generations of thinkers. Despite facing opposition and controversy, William's genius could not be contained. His contributions extended to theology, where he produced significant works that explored the nature of God and the intricacies of faith. His profound impact on both the intellectual and religious realms led to his commemoration in the Church of England, a testament to his enduring legacy. In William of Ockham's story, we witness a remarkable individual who challenged established norms, championed intellectual rigor, and paved the way for a more nuanced understanding of the world. Join us as we embark on a journey through the life and ideas of this enigmatic figure, whose legacy continues to shape our thinking today. William of Ockham, a philosopher born in Ockham, Surrey in 1287, was a man who challenged the established norms and faced numerous controversies during his lifetime. He began his academic journey by studying theology at the University of Oxford, where he acquired the title, Venerabilis Inceptor, or Venerable Beginner. However, his commentary on Peter Lombard's sentences, a standard theological work, was met with hostility. In 1324, his commentary was condemned as unorthodox, leading him to defend himself before a papal court in Avignon, France. Some propose that William's unfortunate journey to Avignon occurred after his appointment as a philosophy professor, but the commonly accepted belief is that his troubles began in 1327. It was the Franciscan minister-general, Michael of Cecina, who called upon William to review arguments surrounding apostolic poverty. The Franciscans believed in following the practice of Jesus and his apostles, who owned no property, as outlined in the rule of St. Francis. This brought them into conflict with Pope John XXII, who attacked their way of life. In defiance of the Pope's actions, William of Ockham, Michael of Cecina, and other prominent Franciscans fled Avignon in May 1328, seeking refuge with the Holy Roman Emperor Louis IV of Bavaria. William became the Emperor's staunch supporter, writing treatises that advocated for Louis to have supreme control over church and state in the Holy Roman Empire. This led to his official excommunication on June 6, 1328. William boldly argued that John XXII was a heretic for disregarding the doctrine of apostolic poverty and the rule of St. Francis, both endorsed by previous popes. Remarkably, William of Ockham's philosophy was never officially condemned as heretical. For the rest of his life, William focused on exploring and writing about political issues, particularly those pertaining to the authority and rights of the spiritual and temporal powers. After the death of Michael of Cecina in 1342, William assumed leadership among the small group of Franciscan dissidents living in exile with Emperor Louis IV. Ultimately, William of Ockham passed away on April 9, 1347, leaving behind a legacy of philosophical thought and a life marked by his unwavering dedication to truth and principles. William of Ockham, a prominent figure in scholasticism, believed in the importance of reforming both method and content. His aim was simplification, and he drew inspiration from the works of theologians who came before him, particularly Duns Scotus. In fact, many of William's ideas on divine omnipotence, grace and justification, epistemology, and ethics were influenced by Scotus. However, while he incorporated much of Scotus' work, William also challenged and diverged from it in certain areas. He held different views on predestination, penance, the understanding of universals, the concept of formal distinction ex part re, and his interpretation of parsimony, which later became known as Occam's Razor. Occam's Razor, a principle attributed to William of Occam, states that among competing hypotheses, the one with the fewest assumptions should be preferred. In other words, simplicity should guide our thinking and decision-making processes. This principle, though originally developed in a theological context, has broader implications for our daily lives. In our modern world, where information overload and complexity abound, we can find solace in Occam's razor. 
It reminds us to strip away unnecessary assumptions and complications when analyzing problems or making choices. By embracing simplicity, we can enhance our clarity of thought, save time, and avoid unnecessary confusion. William of Ockham's emphasis on simplicity continues to guide us today. His philosophical thought invites us to question the excesses and complexities that often weigh us down. Through Occam's razor, we can learn to appreciate the beauty and power of simplicity, finding practical applications in our daily lives. In the 14th century, William of Ockham, a brilliant theologian and philosopher, put forth a unique perspective on the relationship between faith and reason. He believed that the secrets of theology were accessible only through faith, stating, only faith gives us access to theological truths. According to Occam, the ways of God were beyond the realm of reason, as God had intentionally chosen to create a world and establish a path to salvation that went beyond the confines of human logic and rationality. Occam's philosophy, known as fideism, emphasized the importance of faith in understanding theological truths. He saw faith as the key that unlocked the mysteries of divinity, asserting that human reason alone could not grasp the complexities of God's intentions. For Occam, science and reason were tools for discovering the truths of the physical world, but when it came to matters of faith, reason fell short. In his view, faith provided a profound sense of purpose and meaning in a world governed by God's will. By embracing faith, individuals could find solace and guidance, knowing that there was a divine plan at work. Occam's approach challenged the prevailing notion that reason should be the sole arbiter of truth, highlighting the power of faith in navigating the complexities of life and existence. Occam's philosophy has enduring relevance in our daily lives. In a world that often seems rational and logical, his emphasis on faith offers a counterbalance. It reminds us that there are aspects of our existence that go beyond what reason alone can explain. By placing our trust in something greater than ourselves, whether it be a religious belief or a personal conviction, we can find strength and guidance in navigating the uncertainties of life. In conclusion, William of Ockham's philosophy of faith and reason highlights the importance of faith in understanding theological truths. According to Ockham, only through faith can we grasp the complex ways of God, as they are beyond the scope of reason. His teachings remind us of the power of faith as a guiding force in our lives, providing us with purpose and solace in a world that often seems governed solely by reason. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.